Welcome to this Final Cut Pro 10 training. My name is Larry Jordan, and this is Chapter 11, Export and Share. In this session, I want to explain the Share menu. The goals for this session are to illustrate key sections of the Share menu and show you how to share a project. I'll show the Share Inspector and how to tell if a project is shared or if changes have been made since sharing that project. I'll also show you how to use the Share Monitor to monitor your progress. There are five ways we can share our project. We can share with other applications, burn it to an optical disk, publish to a website, export to a file, or use compressor. Sharing always renders, exports, compresses, and transmits in the background, except when you use Share Export Media and Share Save Current Frame. There are four ways that we can share with other applications. We can share to the media browser, Apple devices, email, or podcast producer. Sharing to the media browser allows us to use projects from Final Cut and share them into iLife or iWork applications like GarageBand or Keynote. I'll have a movie later in this chapter that describes how that's done. For Apple devices, we can play our projects in iTunes or send them to an iPhone, an iPad, iPod, or Apple TV. We can email a project using mail or publish to a podcast server running on Mac OS X server. When we burn to a disk, we have two choices, DVD, which is always standard def, and Blu-ray, which is always high def. We can burn a project to a standard def DVD or create a disk image file. However, this burns the project to the disk. It puts the movie on the disk. It doesn't author a disk, adding menus and buttons, except in a template form. When we create a Blu-ray disc, we are also burning a project to a Blu-ray compatible disc or creating a disc image file. And again, this burns the movie to a disc, but it doesn't author a Blu-ray title. There's two kinds of Blu-ray discs we can create, an AVC HD disc, which is burned on an internal SuperDrive, or a Blu-ray disc, which is burned on an external Blu-ray burner. Blu-ray discs cannot currently be played on Macintosh computers. Also, a note on markers. When burning a project, either DVD or Blu-ray, markers are automatically added every 30 seconds. There's a limit of up to 50 markers for an AVC HD disc, which means about a 25-minute maximum, up to 99 markers for DVD, which gives us a 50-minute maximum, and up to 999 markers for Blu-ray discs, which is essentially unlimited. If you need to set custom markers, you can do so using Compressor, prior to compressing the project. Final Cut does not support adding or exporting chapter markers as part of a project. We can also publish to four popular websites, YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, or CNN iReport. I'll have a movie later in this chapter on how to output to YouTube. The benefit to using Share is that the settings are optimized for the requirements of these four websites. And in all cases, once the file's compressed, the file will be uploaded to your account on that service. To create a file to send to your personal website, use either Share, Send to Compressor, or Share, Export Movie. I'll have a movie on that process later in this chapter. Then you compress the file using Compressor. The fourth category is to export a file. We could export media, export an audio file, save the current frame, export an image sequence, export for HTTP live streaming, send a compressor, or export using compressor settings. Exporting media changed substantially with the 10.01 release. We'll talk about it in two different movies later in this chapter. The two compressor menus we'll talk about in future training that we're putting together that will cover Compressor 4. When you publish or export a project from the Share menu, the Share monitor opens in the dock. You can use this to monitor rendering and compression during output. If there's a problem, it will be indicated in the Share Monitor. Once a file has been shared, you can check its status in the Share Inspector, and I'll explain how to do this shortly. So let me show you how to select a project to publish using Share. See if a project has been shared. Use the Share Inspector and watch the output process in the Share Monitor. The Share Monitor, by the way, is similar to the Batch Monitor, that we used in Final Cut Pro 7. Projects can only be shared from the project library. 
This prevents mistakes being made accidentally by opening a project file. We can only export one project at a time, so let's start by selecting the project, then going up to the Share menu. And notice we have a whole lot of choices. These are the five categories I was talking about. Apple Devices, Media Browser, Podcast Producer Email for the first group, Blu-ray and DVD for the second group, Favorite Websites for the third group, Exporting to Create a File for the fourth, and Using Compressor for the fifth. For instance, let's say we want to share our project to an Apple device. So we click on Share Apple Devices. By selecting a different device, what we're really doing is determining the image size. Clearly the iPhone is the smallest image, but it also generates the smallest file. And this is a list of the devices that that file is compatible with. As our image size increases, so does the file size that we create. We actually have more control than that by going down to Show Details. If we want to create something for both the iPhone and the iPad, we can check multiple devices. We can give this a name. We can add it to a playlist. And then we have two choices for encoding, higher quality or more compatibility. Higher quality takes advantage of additional, newer technology inside the latest devices. More compatibility can be played to more devices. And as we change between, notice how the caption changes in terms of the devices that it supports. We can also change the method of compression. If you want the absolute highest quality, set it to better quality, but it takes longer to compress. If you want to just get this done in a hurry and get it up and the absolute best quality is not as important as the speed, then set it to faster encode. For me, I almost always use better quality. And depending upon what device you need to support, let the device range determine which of these two radio buttons you select. When you're done, click the Share button. Now when we share this, a new icon opens up over in the dock. It's called the Share Monitor. The Share Monitor shows the process of rendering, exporting, and compressing the file. If you want to see exactly what's going on, click the twirl down. It shows you the process that it's going through. If you need more information, click the Get Information window, and it shows more information about the compression of that program. The thermometer shows you exactly when your project is done. You can monitor all the jobs that you've ever done on this computer, or just those that are currently being shared or just those that are complete and have been shared already. I use the Share Monitor a lot, and I use it to monitor the active jobs so I can see how long it's going to take for that job to be complete. You absolutely do not have to open the Share Monitor. <laughs> but if you're curious about what's going on under the hood, it's a great place to take a look. We'll just close that by typing Command Q. Notice when a project is shared, it now has a new icon, sort of like a, a speaker icon. This icon shows up both when the project is open in a project library and when it's open up inside the timeline. Now, inside the timeline, this icon doesn't do anything except glow when you click on it. But inside the project library, watch what happens when we double-click it. It opens up the sharing inspector. The Sharing Inspector says, ah, Larry, you've created this and emailed this project to undisclosed recipients. And when we're done sharing this project to Apple devices, it'll list that this has now been shared to Apple devices as well. So if you ever want to know who got it or where it went or where it's been published or you want to check it, double-click on this icon inside the project library and take a look at the Sharing Inspector. We'll just hide that by closing the inspector and going back to where we were. One other note, we've talked about the fact that you can double-click this icon to open the Share Inspector, but there's actually two icons here. If I open the project and say, Delete this transition, notice that now the icon has changed to that speaker icon plus an exclamation point. If we go back to here, what that exclamation means is that the project has changed since the last time you shared it. So if a project is not shared, there's no icon. If it is shared, we have that single icon. And if it's been shared and then changed, we get this third icon with the warning symbol. Now you could tell at a glance whether a project has been shared or not, and by double-clicking, you can see a list of all the different places that project has been posted. Apple has simplified the export process by combining rendering, exporting, compression, and uploading into a single menu choice.
For many users, uploading directly to a website or an Apple device will meet most needs. But for high-end users, combining export movie with compressor will yield the highest quality files with the most options for compression. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching this Final Cut Pro 10 training.